unregulated voltage uh, this is a vz this is a load i am putting one arrow try to notice it's a variable possible values of that we are and what are the conditions given vz to a load pz max 250 what are the possible values of load <coughs> values of all that can be in introduced circuit so you can ask questions so this equipment as some applications what happen where the equipment what happen resistance will change so what is the permitted value for which still voltage regulation will occur find the possible values of rl suitable for given circuit see i i earlier i discussed what is that some possible values of iz i max no the zener diode which you want to use what should be the condition for vz then what is the condition for iz minimum iz max it depends on this one any zener diode you cannot come and fit the requirement is what you have to check it so vz is 12 volt is telling okay let's see that what are the things will come and now rl there is no value you have to choose you have to now get the values of rl here this was the explanation uh, that's what the condition here okay let's how to proceed now here now first we'll calculate the what is value of is I think this will be a very generalized one. No, what is I S equal to V in minus V Z by R S? V in is how much? Forty volt. Ah, sorry, twenty four volt. Twenty four minus twelve by four seventy. Twenty five point five milliampere. Th this is a value. Then we know I S equal to I Z plus I L. Now here conditions will come. I Z minimum, I Z max will calculate. How to calculate I Z max? This not given. I Z max is given by this is two fifty milli. Twelve into I Z max. So, what is the maximum zener current? Anybody value? Twenty point eight three. Twenty point eight three milliampere. Let's come for this one. Uh, the I S is fixed here. If I choose I Z maximum minimum, I think that will decide no. What about IL? IL no. IL is because as RL varies, IL also varies here. No. So how to bring that RL max, RL minimum? So I think uh, on other side, first we'll get into RL. So what is RL? We'll write it. RL equal to VL by IL. No. I, and we know VL equal to VZ. I think that this. Uh, this is equal to two L volt. Now, when R L will be maximum, when I L is minimum, when I L is minimum, and this will be two L by I L, and we know applying K C L I Z plus I L. I S is fixed here now. I S is how much? Twenty two point five milliampere. So when 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 I L will be minimum, when I Z is maximum or I Z is minimum, when I Z is maximum, no. When I Z is maximum, I L will be minimum. So 
So th this I IZ is maximum much 20.8, then IL will become minimum. So therefore this I'll write it as, I'll bring it here. IZ is equal to So this IS is fixed value, 20.5 milli, IZ max 20.83 milli plus IL minimum. Uh, value of IL minimum. Anybody value IL minimum? Four point six seven milliampere. Uh, no, if RL let, let's come to this one. If if high L is minimum, then what will be the RL? RL RL will be maximum. So RL max is equal to VL by high L minimum. High L minimum we know we know VL VL equal to a load substitute will get RL max twelve by four point six seven into ten to the power of three. You will get the there's a permitted value of RL, maximum permitted value of RL for this circuit. Means uh, what type of load I can connect. So are you getting you now why I'm bringing all this? Means any particular load you cannot bring and connect here. So what is the possible loads you can connect for this circuit is what I'm trying to explain here. There's a meaning here. Okay, now, now anybody value? Uh, end answer, I'll, I'll really give the exact picture. Huh? Let me get RL and R, R minimum. 2570. 2570. Similarly, I want RL minimum. RL minimum will come when IL maximum. When IL will be maximum, when IZ is minimum. Similar way. So let's get into this. I S equal to I Z minimum plus I L max. And this is 20.5 milli. I Z minimum, <coughs> it is given 0 0.5 milli plus I L max. I think this will become only 25. 25 milliampere then then what about rl minimum anybody value 480 480 480 yeah let's let push it corner RL minimum is okay. Now, what is the 480? 480, huh? Correct, yeah. Okay, that is a thing. So, now you can ask questions. Sir, you only said RL is fixed here before coming to this one experiment. You, you have a Zener diode, you have a this much of. Uh, 100 related voltage and you have a value of RS 470 ohm then any load can you come and connect here I'm asking very simplified question any load means uh, no what loads you can connect load whose value of RL lies from between what 2570 ohm to 480 ohm only are what happen are suitable for this particular circuit uh, sir uh, what will happen <coughs> if I connect a load whose value is 3000 ohm, yeah, anything will happen. If I connect 3000 ohm here. Okay, let's do one thing, 3000 ohm, then calculate IL. Then the Zener diode would happen, we may come out of the breakdown region. If it comes out breakdown, it become unregulated. So therefore, for any particular, whatever load you want, you cannot connect here. If you have already chosen Zener diode, RS and V in, so what happened? You should take care like that. The load which you are going to connect what happened should satisfy this condition. 
if you have already zener dead load and this is fixed here any value of rs can you connect no previous problem then already you have rl rs fixed here and input voltage fixed any any zener dead can you connect no first case i discussed are you able to understand so what is the thing uh, th this is again and the very first beginning what happened uh, these are all these are fixed here all these are fixed here then uh, like a, if this fluctuates then i i should choose suitable zener diode that's what i said i i think i discussed all first i varied this then then condition for this then condition for this then condition for this so it, it all depend on application means like a, that's why you see mobile when you purchase you no know, what they'll say please use the mobile charger which is given in the box only don't use other one why why they're telling are they doing marketing no the mobile the one which you are using it have some resistance and the mobile charger what all design no keeping this in mind okay this one if you bring some other charger some other charger will be this will be different huh? your mobile is same okay it's having some fixed the the some other charger what you brought may not satisfy this this values of rl for that means the charger what you are using will satisfy this particular thing if you bring some other charger the some other charger will be designed for some other values of rl no and when you connect it what will happen either this charger will get damaged or your mobile will get damaged that's why they tell very with precaution they say like don't use the mobile chargers which are manufactured by other company yes, there is a possibility here by chance if they are not designed properly no it will burn out i am not marketing person for uh, mobile chargers huh? but but the precautions when you read carefully you know there is a reason why they are telling like this there is a reason so the one suppose you are using apple iphone better to go for the mobile chargers of apple iphone i know they are very costly but what is the cost of that one 2000 there is a cost of 70000 okay we can compromise no? you come for samsung if you come for samsung mobile cost 20000 chargers 300 400 500 some equipment so they where they have designed they designed very carefully that's why they give utmost priority for this but <coughs> charging 2000 for this is a stupidity you know you take apple iphone they charging 2000 for this but you know what is their diode 5 rupees transformer 40 rupees everything uh, will come 100 rupees maximum and they charging 2000 hmm. so if you have little bit electronics no then what happen Uh, I think if you have some knowledge, no, yes, you can still manage for a, one mobile charger with other. Probably you should have some basic background. So the using of electronic equipments need all this background. So, so therefore, what when the company will design not one fixed value. Say why RL variable? Because as you start eating, uh, as you start using mobile, what happened to mobile will get eat up, no? When it get eated up, its resistance will change. So the change should not be. the change should be within this limit no because you designed a charger in this way and your mobile resistance open should not become more than this less than this in that way it should be designed if the resistance of mobile becomes more than this the mobile will burn out like this some mobiles will burst out the reason is not poorly designed so it's not that easy huh? the equipment which has come into market no and that open you are going to manufacture the millions of this one so everything should be taken care keeping all conditions in the mind even this fluctuation rs the one this will be variable this will be variable this will be variable it should be designed here go that idea so in books open you have like a tidbit problem one problem of this one problem of that this that they are spread it randomly i just summarized as a whole concept there can be problem where rl what possible value of load you can connect for this is a it is a given circuit okay fine any load you can connect no there is a limit if the value of load is within this range it will act like a voltage regulator this circuit otherwise regulation not possible next what we brought we brought a condition for rs this this load is fixed this is fixed any value of rs can you keep it no what is the range so why range is brought here because here what happen again the value of rs due to some conditions it can vary so what can be possible variations in that again you have brought it here next again the zener diode any zener diode can you comment Keep it here. No, it should satisfy this one. If you want to be used as regulated, this one. Next again, what we have? We have this one. Zener diode is fixed. 
this is fixed, this fixed. What voltages it can regulate? So I'm just putting 32, 35. Maximum voltage it can withstand. Like this we have put it. So IZ dash, minimum and maximum current to the Zener diode. So what voltages this circuit can regulate means, <coughs> what are the highest, lowest regulations we can maintain means, it all depends on IZ minimum, IZ maximum. The Zener diode, what you have picked up here, that will put limit. What the maximum permitted voltage it can regulate? 45. What the minimum voltage it can regulate? 35. Means if the voltage becomes less than 35, even at 35 also, this circuit will work. Around 45 also it work. Any voltage between plus or minus 5, <coughs> this circuit will work. Got the idea? So I think we have some conditions for this, 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 this. But the whole, the core central idea of this is what? Th this you should not forget. Huh? What is the thing? The current through the inner diode, though it increase, though it varies, the voltage across it will remain constant. That's what the inner diode. I think in every numerical, this was taken care. <coughs> we have like this called like a voltage regulator. Now we have some devices called like a current regulator. The voltage across it can vary, but current will remain constant. So we have further in semiconductor devices, not there for syllabus, like that for applications for you. So I think you, you have uninterrupted power supply or stabilizer or in mobile charger. So everywhere, the inner diode will be the part of it. Got the idea? So I think in very less time, I concluded a lot of things. So you can sit and go through once. The numericals are very important where you can understand things. Any doubt you can clarify? Any doubts you can clarify, I'll wait. No?